Ciao Juventini of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel. I will take a few of my time to answer two questions. Why am I doing it? Because under the videos that I'm posting, you are writing a lot of comments. Thank you. Thank you for this because you are showing me trust and I appreciate it so much. Even if I'm not always able to answer them, I read all the comments. So guys, a small video to answer two questions. What are they? First, why is Juventus not buying any players at the moment? Secondly, why are all those names linked with Juve? Because every day you open the papers or you go on Twitter, Instagram and so on and you see new names. Have you seen how many strikers are linked uh, with Juve? Milik, Jimenez, even Haaland from Dortmund. We have so many names, I think six or seven, Morata and so on and so on. Why? I will try to explain it and it's quite easy. The first thing and that's the most important thing is that the Mercato, the transfer market opens officially in Italy on the 1st of September and it will close on the 5th of, of October. So it will be for like five or six weeks from the 1st September until the 5th of October where we will be officially able to buy players. I know that it's not an ideal situation. Why? Because the, the the Serie A we start on the 19th of September so we will start playing football with an incomplete team that's the first reason so if you don't see any announcement of Juve on players it makes sense it's because we are not even allowed to the two only new faces that you will see except of some returns of loans like Pellegrini, Romero, Perin and so on are Kulusevski from Parma and Arthur from Barcelona. Last news is that instead of coming and joining us on the 1st of September, he should be there on the 24th or, tw or 25th of August when we start, so one week before. And that's a great news because we will not have a lot of time to prepare the new season. So guys, this is the first one. Then the second one, it's because we were living, we were experiencing a real tsunami. After sacking Sarri, we took the decision immediately to appoint Pirlo as a trainer, but Pirlo didn't have his stuff yet. So you will tell me, so Giuseppe, it's a surprising news. Nobody knew that Pirlo would have signed. It was not prepared. Guys, yes, it was prepared. It was prepared since a long time, but we were not able to contact all the staff of Pirlo because how more people know the fact that Pirlo will be a trainer, how more the possibility will be for a leak. And that was not the case. So everything was kept secret. And now today Juventus is focusing on two things. Recruiting the staff of Pirlo. We're going from a second assistant like normally Baronio should have been in the under 23 team. So we are looking for one. We are speaking a lot about Andrea Zoli, former coach at interim of Roma, but he also did Empoli Genoa. So he can be a second trainer for Pirlo. We are looking for a medical trainer. We are looking for so many things uh, for completing actually Pirlo, his staff. This is the priority today. Next to that, paired and join is also the fact to stop the contracts or trying to find an agreement to sell players. We started with Matuidi, we broke the contract, he went to Inter Miami, then we are working really hard to find an agreement with Kedira and with Higuain. Two really, really, really difficult situations, two different situations. Kedira has no excuse because he's posting some love stories about Juve on Instagram. He doesn't want to leave. So we will try to break his contract because who wants to buy him? We don't know. And Higuain, even if the guy is really nice, he's a really guy, nice guy. The guy wants to leave and he wants to go in uh, Argentina, River Plate or maybe in the MLS. His family, brother and father are trying to find and a way to have even more money from Juve, guys. That's what is reporting. So this is the first thing. You remember the phone calls of Pirlo to the players saying, ciao, ciao, we don't want you at Juve next year. This is the priority. Why? Because you remember last year we had a big problem. We bought De Ligt, we bought Demiral, and then we had to stop. Why? Because a lot of players didn't want to move. I'm thinking about Mandzukic, Kedira again, Higuain. Uh, we had so many players that didn't want to move. We will not make the same mistake. First selling, then buying. And this is the focus. Then, 
again and that's also an important news we are starting actually the negotiation with our a players because we know that for every role center back uh, full backs midfielders uh, strikers we have a list of a players that's the dream and then we have b players c players d players what doesn't mean that uh, they are bad it means that there are more possibilities to have a d player than an a player okay we start going for a players what are the names there i'm speaking about uh, um, a pogba i'm speaking about zagnolo there are a uh, haaland there are so many a players and that all the names that you see in the papers but we are waiting we have to start negotiation with the player himself with the club himself and see if it's possible or not to have them at juve from that moment we want to exclude the players that we see that there are no possibility like Zidane for example Zidane was a possibility to train Juve when he said that he needed more time Agnelli took a decision from an A list from Zidane and Guardiola he said no this is not working let's go for a B list Pirlo, not saying that Pirlo is a B, play, uh, B trainer, but he was a second choice. And we are doing the same with, um, with the Mercato, with the players. If Pogba is not possible, maybe we'll, we'll go for another profile, like a Thomas Partey from Atletico Madrid, for example. And with all those kinds of news, you know what I'm explaining to you, this is why today we see a lot of names not only that because there is something even more important it was admitted by Gianluca Di Marzio Gianluca Di Marzio is really the mercado guru and he was explaining that Juventus is a company is a club that is really 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 secret they don't say nothing he, sometimes they say something it's because they want it sometimes they give good information sometimes it's bad information but Juventus is one of the clubs especially in Italy the most secret company that exists in football why they say nothing I'm sure a lot of them has confidentiality uh, contracts if you speak you have to pay millions of euro so this is why today we didn't buy any player this is why today you are reading a lot of names so guys i hope i clarified a bit the situation but and wait here today it's a bank holiday in italy tomorrow it's sunday from monday the machine will start rolling because I'm sure we don't have a lot of time to try to find the best possible team for Pirlo. From next week on, you will see not only on the papers a lot of names, but you will see the real first contacts with big, big names. Stay tuned because you will receive a lot of information. Thank you. If you love the video, please consider to subscribe, put a like and thank you. Thank you for watching the video. Juve. As always, Forza Juve.